this hasn't been an easy year and a half, but the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, the council staff, the volunteers who've worked together bringing energy and enthusiasm and passion for doing the right thing for the people of Kirklees have been absolutely incredible. Today, the vaccine actually arrived. It was like, it was like a new baby had arrived and so I'd carried it into the uh, clinic. We sort of deposited it into the, uh, into the fridge. Uh, it was an incredible feeling. Quite a few people have talked about winning the war against COVID and it's felt, felt like being a good soldier. Having a reputation as a vaccination centre for being a kind and caring centre, I think has been really important. As much as I wanted us to protect as many people as we possibly could, I also wanted us to treat them as individuals. So my motivation for getting involved in all of this was I felt absolutely powerless to be able to give something back. I couldn't stand by and do nothing. I was very, very keen to be part of the team. An absolute desire to protect everybody and for everybody to get their lives back to normal. The thing that's meant a lot to me was being part of this fabulous team of people. Um, you know, we've really got friends, we're working as a great team and um, yeah, that's been the main thing for me. I mean, sadly, I lost my younger brother through this. That had such an impact on me that it kind of almost made me want to sort of kind of, uh, you know, try even harder to try and sort of make sure that we did a good job. This programme has meant so much to me. It's a difference, literally, between life and death. The most memorable moment for me was an 89-year-old lady who came to see us and have her first vaccination. She told me that this was her first time out in a year and that I was the first person that had touched her physically in any way. I mean, imagine that, not being touched by another human being for a year. We wanted to create a safe, a caring, a professional environment, reduce barriers, make it easy for people to come to our centre and have the vaccine. I think we'll be friends for life. You expect to go and do a job and come away, but it, we really have formed a family. It's been lovely. I can remember uh, patients who came along who'd lost people to COVID. That was very moving. It, it, it really makes you realise why you're doing it. There was a, 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 an elderly gentleman when we first started, very frightened, very scared. We took him through the whole process, talked him through, at the end of it, he almost skipped out of the, uh, the vaccination centre. This, this journey's meant to me more than just been an opportunity not only to, to meet new people, but also talk to my friends about all these, these people who have 100% given their lives to this, from the volunteers to the clinicians to the other members of the admin team. Um, I, I think that's really invaluable, if anything. My name is Claire Isaac, Vicky, it's Andrew, it's Georgina, Sam, and I've been part of the fight against Covid. We are, we are, we are the NHS.